Yeah. Is our picnic going to fit in there? No. No? no. Richard, will the picnic fit? Like that, it will. That's fine. I think we're good. <laughs> think yeah. we're good. I won't. I won't go over 140 quicks, Richard. <laughs> no. Morning, everybody. Something different today. We're not on motorbikes. We're actually in clean clothes, and we are taking the 1916 Grand Prix Morgan on the Ballarat Vintage and Classic Car Club Run. Works rider. Driver. I'm a West driver. Can you see that? <laughs> Colin and Marilyn are going in their A model Ford, which is behind us there. It's going to be 36 degrees. It's going to be pretty warm today. Anyway, we're looking forward to a good run around the local right. roads. The Morgan has the funny crank angle down near the rear wheel, even though the engine's at the front. Yeah, work that out. It was a bit reluctant to start this morning, so we went for plan B, which is use our good friend gravity, and we just pushed Katrina off down the hill. Tie it up straight away, so let's get in and get going. We're going to head to the car club club rooms first for the meet up with everybody. And yes, we are wearing funny safari helmets and there's a very good reason. First one is today's going to be 36 degrees and you're going to keep out the sun. And the second thing is, these have rigid brims, which means they don't blow up when you're driving along. We might look silly, but they're very practical. Well, we're here at the club rooms. There's going to be a good turnout for the rally today, it seems, and there's a good variety of cars. So let's have a look around and see some of them. We've got uh, Buicks and Marquette, Delage, all sorts of bits and pieces. Let's have a look at them. Today's run is what they call the Naked Radiator Run, which is to try and encourage people with the older cars to come out with them. You can see there's a few more modern ones in there too. People have to use the cars that they've got and not everybody has a Naked Radiator car. There was a good turnout of them though. The club has very well equipped club rooms, although the building itself is due to be knocked down and replaced very soon. But they have an extensive library, a lot of knowledge in there, and of course all the memorabilia you'd expect. With that done and a walk around the club rooms, it's time to fire up the Morgan and the rest of the cars and follow off on the trail. That's Colin and Marilyn in front of us in the A model Ford, with our picnic of course, don't lose sight of that. I mentioned earlier we're in a 1916 Grand Prix Morgan and it gets along very well. It's got a water-cooled V-twin mag motor and a two-speed transmission and from the three wheels it's got it only has a brake on the rear wheel. It's a frightening thing really and it's very very small on the road compared to everything else.
this was interesting, that car doing the U-turn is a motorway patrol car and the one in front of that had just overtaken us, we were doing 60 in the 60 and that car went past us and of course the police car was parked just hiding on the other side of the road so here they are, a little bit of instant karma going on there good lucky see the terrible state of the roads here and all the potholes and one of the problems with a three-wheel car is whichever ones you miss with a front wheel you're guaranteed to get with the rear there's no way to miss them all
We're back in Ballarat now and the site on the right hand side there is the Eureka Stockade and that happened on December the 3rd 1854 which was when the gold prospectors rebelled against the mining licenses and all sorts of mayhem broke loose. There's lots of stories about what happened and who did what. Anyway look it up yourselves. And with that we're back in Ballarat and we're going to find our way to Lake Esmond which is on the edge of the town and that is the end of the rally but where we're all going to gather and have a picnic. All good we've made it to Lake Esmond on the edge of Ballarat here and we're going to go and uh, sort our picnic out. So we bought a picnic box with us and uh, we're going to sit down beside the lake and everybody's going to have a bit of food and a drink down there. Sounds good to me. We found a nice shady spot to park too. What's in here? Sunny oh, oh, that's good tea. Oh, I'm parched. There we go. Oh. That's pretty good. What's for tasty lunch, Marilyn? Homemade bread. Richard made and Katrina made. We have ham, um, pumpkin uh, relish, and uh, lettuce today. Sounds good. No tomato, no too soggy. What have we got, Richard? Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. In the magic box. We've got super duper black grapes. Mm -hmm. We've got, oh, there you go. Who put the white Tim jersey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they snap Homemade bread. We might even have gourmet lettuce. Yeah, it's Delicious. There is a few in there. Let's eat, I'm starving. Well, we've had our tasty lunch, our tasty picnic, and that's us done for the rally. Thanks for watching and join us again next time, which is where are we going next? Oh we've got the Begonia the rally. Begonia rally. We've got the yeah. Begonia rally in a couple of weeks and then we're off to Tasmania for the Tassie tour, which we'll be videoing as well. So Perfect. we'll see you on those rallies somewhere else. And it's only 35 degrees. <laughs> Thanks very much again for watching and please remember subscribe and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you soon on our next adventures.